As I have also said in some other videos that, um, you know, I'm like a painter, you know, I, like somebody that's sculpting something organic. You know, when you're sculpting something organic, uh, you know, you, you have some basic dimensions, but there's a lot of tweaking that, that needs to be done until you get just the right, uh, the right look and, and, and feel for, for the product. So this the way, you know, I approach a lot of these things, you know, first thing I do is to start with the base and then work my way up, you know, with these uh, tubings and then I just size these according to what I think is is the is going to give me the the uh, close representation of the profile. Of course, you know, I have the the actual size that I that I want and so that gives me a good uh, um you know, a good reference for all these sizes. But once I get, you know, the the profile, then all these other tubes and all these other parts they start to fall right in place let me just put the seat here the seat is it's got already the uh the clips here for the for the seat and this will be mounted right right there so that's a dual seat and on top of these seats i'm going to make uh pads you know f f foam pads of course I'll, I'll be sewing you know the the those, those um the seats these are just the seat uh, structures, you know, so that the, the foam pads can can sit on top of that. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm really going all out with this particular frame because it, I mean, this is a very high end, uh, a real aircraft. You know, if you if you um, if you've seen the Tanarg in, in in real life, you know, it's it's a beautiful beautiful uh, uh, aircraft. And uh, and, and not to leave, you know, some other ones out of, out of the picture. I mean, there's a the Rebo is also another um, beautiful. Uh, uh, trike and or micro light that's kind of comparable in size to the Tanarg and they, they kind of uh, compete in in many respects but they they they're very different in, in many respects and uh, the Revo is one one of the other one, trikes that I'm going to be doing after I'm finishing uh, this one a lot of these parts again once again are, can be used you know for the Revo and for similar trikes uh, and also um you know the pilot the size the scale is pretty much the same and i'm, I'm just going to stay with this particular scale because this works really well you don't need a bus you know to carry uh, your model and you don't need a you know you don't need a big uh, uh truck you know to carry your model to the field back and forth and you don't need to disassemble uh you know as you would you know with a you know, you know with a much much bigger uh, scale model so that's that's why I, it's a reason why I like working with this size, and that's the reason why I produce the 1.25 in that particular size. I mean, I I produce five sizes in that in the Easy Line, from beginning from with the 1.0 on up to uh, 3.0 size, which you can see how nice that it just sits in that pocket there. I mean, I didn't, I, I never planned to use these seats on this particular aircraft here, um, but it just works so well because you know when I do these things. I do it with a sense of uh, good sense of proportions, um, so that I can also reuse those parts if I need to reuse those parts in some other products. I mean, that's how I did the 1.25 Pilot, a little bit bigger than a GI Joe size Pilot. It looks really nice on some of these models, and I can use that model. I mean, yeah, I've used that model in many of the, uh, the products that we make. You know, order gyros, helicopters, um, uh, airplanes. Uh, I've even used it on um, land yachts, and, and I even have a boat that I never showed that I put that pilot in so everything you know is uh, is done with that intention originally designed from bottom up you know done many many years ago you know I had long planned to to establish Mia Microflight with all these products that I'm bringing out into view and, in, and into the market and so uh, you know that was long planned ago and when I did my uh, uh, my business plan you know uh, for establishing me on microflight uh, the name the trademark name my logo everything was well well thought out and well planned um, and perhaps that's one of the reasons why you know we're still around doing these things you know i'm not a big company you know i'm a one-man show here and all these things that, that you see here are done by myself i don't have a you know a, a dozens of people working for me i do all the drawings i do all the uh, uh the prototyping i do all the assembly uh, I, I do all the products and I have to, you know, take care of that too, you know, the, the orders that come in. So, and, uh, you know, sometimes I don't, I don't sleep. And as people say, when the design bug and assembly uh, uh, bites you, you know, I, it's, it's, it's hard to put that down. It's basically my, my drug of choice. And, uh, and when I really get into these things, I like to, you know, work on them and keep working and quit, keep tweaking, keep tweaking, keep tweaking until it's, it's done. Uh, sometimes I don't finish these things and I put them aside. Sometimes I lose interest in the middle of the um, project. 
Uh, and when that happens, you know, perhaps the project is not ready. You know, I, I let those things take care of themselves. I don't, you know, I don't like deadlines. I don't like to work with deadlines um, because then my senses and my my work is not as uh, good as if it would, would be when all my senses and all my energy and all my universe is right into the product. You know, I'm putting it, uh, you know, 200% into the product. So that's the reason why I don't like to work under, under de deadlines. And that's why I don't work for any company. You know, I do these things on my own. And when, when I'm really, really feeling it, you know, I, I like to continue. So I think this project is, is not going to be uh, put aside. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, it's been, it's been, um, been really really pushing me you know and, and, and getting me re-inspiring me every every time I you know I've accomplished a little section here it's like okay move on to the next one, next section and then the next section comes on and then I go wow that's looking pretty cool keep moving keep moving put the seats on you know keep moving and um, I mean from, from this to this to this is taking me about a week uh, I mean no company major companies work within that time frame uh, primarily because there's so many things that need to happen in, in big companies. I need to go through so many levels of people. And uh, fortunately for me, I don't, I don't have that luxury and I don't, I don't want that, that type of uh, uh, pressure. But I work a, a lot faster is what I'm trying to say, you know, even, even though I do these things by myself. And it's because I can concentrate on this anytime I work out of my, my home, uh, you know, and anytime I, I need to, uh, you know, I get in the middle of the night and I can't sleep or rather to, to watch TV or a program, I go to my shop and start cutting parts and start making these things and I and just keep keep working, keep tweaking it, keep molding it. You know, take a little paint, take a little brush, you know, from, from my palette here and, and, and work on it. So this is how this is this comes about. So once again, this is Mario with me on my flight. Stay tuned for more.